Now this isn't scientific what's going on here, but uh, I just wanted to kind of have a little demo where I played the Juno 1 with the Juno 60 just to kind of compare them a little bit because I have them both here and they both say Juno. They're both different, even though these patches are like really similar. Uh, hold on a second here. Delete out a loop. Um, so basically I have them pretty similarly programmed and the way the envelopes work and respond is a little bit different, is what I'm finding mostly. Now this filter setting is like a little bit different. Uh, let's see here. So they're pretty close, but... Um, um, I'm finding that when I program the Juno, and maybe it's like you could get them almost exactly the same, but when I'm programming the Juno 1, I'm getting a little bit more of like a bouncy response to the envelope, and it's a little bit cleaner sounding, which is cool. Um, the Juno 6, once you open it up, I feel like it gets a little bit more wooly, but this is kind of closed down with like the resonance up, and if I adjust the... Uh, Frequency here. Let's see. I'll bring the resonance down to zero. If I do the same here, and it's still, I mean, the envelopes are programmed really similarly here. You can hear that in the Juno, it like it, there's like this thing where it breaks up a little bit. Um, and if I go to the ECF frequency here on the Alpha Juno, I'm just going to open it all the way up. If I open this all the way up, up. and this is the thing is I had to increase the sustain and release on the Juno six to get it to be the same as what's on the Alpha Juno. Like there's something about the Alpha Juno's envelopes that are like just different than the Juno 6. And the sound. They're just different. They just sound really, I don't know. I really like them both. They both do really great things. There's something about the the Alpha Juno that I really like for like for like bouncy bass lines and the Juno 6 I really like for the arpeggiator cuz it's ridiculous. And you can do this instantly. But if you're looking for like a really good Juno sound, I feel like the Alpha Juno is just like so close to the other Junos with a slightly like different character. It's just really good at like cleaner, like bouncier sounds. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just uh, bring up some other patches here just so uh, you can hear some things that I've programmed into the Alpha Juno.
effect, so if I add some reverb to this. Like, this is amazing for, uh, these pads are just ridiculous. It's like a little more plasticky than older Junos, but in a good way. It's, it's interesting. It's a little more modern. <laughs> music I think that if you don't like, find an Alpha Juno one for just like a couple hundred bucks or less and buy it it's that'd be kind of chilly because it sounds perfect 
for all of that stuff. Because I make a little bit of house music and I use it for a lot of the bass line. thing that uh, I think is kind of interesting about the uh, Juno 6 is it has a filter input on the back of it. Now, if you want to get some more interesting sounds out of your Juno 6 and uh, you're thinking it's kind of a, a simple synthesizer, which it is, um, the sounds good, but uh, you want to do some more modulations and get something more out of it. Something I do is use my Moger Fugger uh, control processor. This is a CP251. It has an LFO in it and it also has sample and hold. So what I've done here is I've taken the LFO square output and gone into the trigger input on the sample and hold on the control processor right there. And the output, I'm running into the attenuator so I can control exactly how much it's affecting the filter. And you can hear the sample and hold start to hit that a little bit right here. And I've got the attenuator cranked now. This is like full on plus five. And I've just pushed the hold on the Juno 6 to get it to slow up with those. crank the resonance and bring up the, fil the, uh, the filter frequency as well. And, uh, that's a really great sound to get out of Juno, I think. It's a little more interesting than what you'd normally get. I also still have the arpeggiator clocked to Ableton here. So if I turn the arpeggiator on, scratching pot. So now you hear. sustaining a little bit. And it gets almost 
almost like a delayed signal here. Scratchy pods. 